In this video series, we'll be dealing with the conic section of an ellipse. So we will first be focusing on defining an ellipse and looking at the different formulas for a vertical and horizontal ellipse. So let's first start with the definition. An ellipse is defined as the set of all points in a plane such that the sum, and that's important to note is that it's the sum of the distances from the foci is constant. And so right now, being this the first time you've heard an ellipse, that definition might not mean anything to you. You might not understand it. So let's look at what it means as a picture. And so this is what you would refer to as an oval, but in mathematics, we call it an ellipse. Each point inside this ellipse is called a focus. The plural of a focus is foci. And so let's label this, we'll call this F1 for the first focus and F2 for the second focus. The distance from the first focus to a point on the ellipse, let's call that D1. And from that point on the ellipse to the other focus, we'll call that D2. The sum of those distances will remain constant. And what that means is if I were to pick another point on the ellipse, it doesn't matter where I pick it. So let's just pick a random one right here. So that's a random point on the ellipse. If I were to connect this focus to that point on the ellipse, and then from that point on the ellipse to the other focus, the distance from that focus to the point of the ellipse, let's call this D3. And from that point of the ellipse to the other focus, we'll call that D4. The sum of those distances would be exactly the same as the sum as the distances of D1 and D2. And that's what it means by the sum of the distances from the foci being constant. It doesn't matter where you put your point on the ellipse. The distance from one focus to that point and the point from that focus, the sum of that distance will always be the same. And so that's how we define an ellipse. So you've heard me say terms like focus and foci. Those are new terms. We're gonna look at those parts of the ellipse. Some of the terms we're gonna hear are your center, your vertices, your foci, your major axes, your minor axes. And we're going to label them on this picture to help us out. First thing is your center. My center is marked in green for it. And so this is my center. Put a C for center. Your vertices are the, I would say, points around the ellipse the vertical and horizontal points on the ellipse, the farthest right, farthest left, farthest up, farthest down it goes, those are your vertices. Your foci are inside the ellipse. Now I wanna talk about what foci are. Now an ellipse, you look at it, it's kind of like a stretched out circle. If you were to stretch a circle out, imagine that center splitting while you stretch it, and that's how the foci are created, is by splitting the center when you stretch a circle for it. The foci, make a note of this, are located on the major axes. The foci will always be located on the major axes. And so now we have that concept. What's the major axis? What's the minor axis? Well, the major axis is the longer axis. It's the one that defines whether it's a vertical or horizontal ellipse. The one that's stretched out the most along is the major axis. So my major axis here is the distance from one of the vertices to the other vertex. So this would be my major axis. The minor axis is the same idea. It is the distance from one vertex to the opposite for it. And so this is minor axis. And so that helps us out with 
labeling our parts. And that's what we're going to be finding every time we graph an ellipse is our center, our vertices, our foci, the length of the major axis, and the length of the minor axis. So let's look at some of our formulas for this. We have formulas for our horizontal and vertical ellipses. Horizontal ellipse is stretched more along the horizontal axis, and a vertical ellipse is stretched more along the vertical axis for it. Your formulas are the same. x minus a squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1 for both of them. The center is still hk. So we've dealt with that so far when it comes to our parabolas and our circles. So that center is still the same, our h, our k. The vertices are found two ways. h plus or minus a comma k and h comma k plus or minus b. Since our formulas are the same, to find the vertices are going to be the same. So here's what I want to go to. So look, take a look. H plus or minus A. That means you're adding A to your horizontal value for it. And so what I want to make a note of is we can see our center in each of these. And my horizontal vertices, I'm saying are H, because remember your center is HK, plus A, and H minus A. And so we note that our vertices are located left and right A units from the center. And if we go down to the second one for our vertices, H comma K plus or minus B, that means our vertical vertices are located B units from the center, up and down. And so if you know A and you know B, you go right A units, go left A units, there's your vertices. Go up B units, go down B units, there's your vertices. So we can, we can work with counting. Doesn't matter if it's a vertical ellipse. The horizontal vertices, we have our A units from the center. So go left and right A units. Your vertical vertices are B units up and down from the center. So go up and down B units and you get your vertical vertices. So that is how I like to define my vertices. I'm all about not using the formulas, but learning the concepts. Is the vertices are located A and B units from the center. We can say left and right A units, up and down B units. And that's what those formulas mean. So if I find A and B, I can count. I don't have to go use the formulas. And it's the same with our foci. Now here it's different because I told you your foci are located on the major axes. And so for horizontal, the foci is located on the horizontal axis. So that's why you see this C value attached to the H. Your foci for a vertical are located on the vertical axis. So you see the C value attached to the K. Well, now we introduce this variable of C. So to find C, what you do is C squared equals A squared minus B squared for a horizontal or for a vertical C squared equals B squared minus A squared. Really, if you want to just learn one formula for it, it's c squared equals your larger number minus your smaller number for it. And so c units, so c units from the center on the major axes. is the coordinate of your foci. And so if we take a look at our graph up top for it, our major axis is horizontal. So my foci is located C units from the center. And I do the same thing. My foci is located C units in the other direction from the center. It's the same for vertical. 
you know, my foci is located C units up and C units down on the major axis, which is my vertical axis. And so if I know A, I know B, I know C, in my HK, I can do anything. I can identify all the parts. The parts are your center, your vertices, which you will have four, the coordinates of your foci, and the length of your major axes and your minor axes. So that's what's left is what's the length of my major axes? What's the length of my minor axes for this? Well, the major axis here is horizontal and here is vertical. It looks like your major axis would be twice A for this one because you go A units to go to the center and then A units again. So for this one, your major axis is twice A. Your major axis here is twice B because you go down B units and then down B units again. Your minor axis for horizontal, the smaller one, you go down B, go down B is twice B. Your minor axis for a vertical, go right A and right A, so that's 2A. And so you notice they're just flipped because one's vertical and one's horizontal. And so the major and minor axes switch with each other. The large number will always be your major. The small number will always be your minor. And so these are all the parts of an ellipse. It's a lot of information to take in. And I wanted to go through some of the shortcuts for it, some of the concepts, so we don't have to rely on the formulas. Move on to the next videos to see some examples worked out.